the Welsh Triple Harp and the Menai Bridge. Now, I've noticed that these two Welsh icons look a little bit alike. Those vertical rods on the bridge look like the strings of a harp, which has got me thinking. Can I play the Menai Bridge like a giant harp? The people who manage the bridge have given the One Show special permission to try out this crazy idea. Expert sound recordist Gary Moore is helping me. First, we record the sound of each rod separately to see if they change in pitch. Here's the moment of truth, really. That's a really interesting sound, isn't it? So this is a medium-sized strand, then? There's no, there's no recognisable note on that? No. I mean, using musical principles, small rods should have higher notes and big rods should have lower notes. Are you happy with the sound, but just not quite like a harp? No, but, well, let's try some of the bigger rods. OK. It should make a discernible difference in terms of pitch. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Is it equal tension on each wire? Would that make a difference? I guess like tuning, wouldn't it? Like tuning the string. They're all actually, yes. Yeah. You all right up there? Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like a bucket. <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. Okay. So the rods aren't resonating like harp strings, and there's not much variation in pitch. But I do like the sounds I'm getting from the bridge. They're dramatic and in keeping with its history. I think there's something I can do here. This bridge seems to inspire music. Its construction saw the village of Porthaithwy, known in English simply as Menai Bridge, spring up on the Anglesey side of the Menai Strait. And for the past 120 years, it's been the home of the Menai Bridge Band. Back in 1825, as 150 labourers hauled the original chains of the bridge into place, a band played throughout the process, helping to keep the men's hauling in time. And there are other musical connections too. The Menai Bridge features in Lewis Carroll's Alice Through the Looking Glass. The White Knight sings a nonsensical ditty, claiming it could be kept rust-free by boiling it in wine. In reality, the metalwork was soaked in warm linseed oil. There must be something about this place because Gary and I are now getting very enthusiastic about the sounds we can produce here. <laughs> It's like a snare drum, bap. I bet you a pound I can get a tune out of this Menai Bridge. Wow, I've never noticed. A Menai Bridge on a pound? <laughs> Go on, let's give it a spin. One, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I call this reverb, and I think it's, I think it's fantastic. I mean, it is the, the, the acoustic properties of the bridge. <laughs> With our sounds collected, it's time to listen and compose. We're going to have to go down this route of making something very percussive. I think, in a way, the bridge has told yeah. us what we've got to do. Yeah, absolutely. I can't believe you've got such a complex range of sounds out of what we did on that bridge. It's incredible. It was my hammer, let's say that. It's your hammer, I brought the hammer and it's your the... recording. Oh, no, I brought the hammer to the party. You just, you know, you hit it. <laughs> With the bridge's rich past as inspiration, my composition, using sounds taken only from the bridge, is complete. Thank you. Thank you very much.